Piquet is an early 16th century trick-taking card game for two players. History Piquet is one of the oldest card games still being played. It was first mentioned on a written reference dating to 1535 in Gargantua and Pantagruel by Rabelais. Although legend attributes the game's creation to Stephen de Vignolis, also known as La Hire, a knight in the service of Charles VII during the Hundred Years' War, it may possibly have come into France from Spain because the words PK and repique, the main features of the game, are of Spanish origin. The game was introduced in Germany during the Thirty Years' War, and texts of that period provide substantial evidence of its vogue. Like the metaphorical use of the word repeat in the 1634-8 political poem Alamo dish Picket Spiel, which reflects the growing popularity of the game at that time. Diamant Piketon, who gives the word his grudging assent. Until the early 20th century, PK was perhaps the most popular card game in France, occupying a similar position to cribbage in England. It first became popular in England after the marriage of Queen Mary I of England to King Philip II of Spain in 1554. During this period the game was known as Cent, after the Spanish game Cientos referring to the fact that one of the chief goals of PK is to reach 100 points. Following the marriage of King Charles I of England to Henrietta Maria of France in 1625, the British adopted the French name for the game. It went in and out of fashion among the upper classes in Britain between the 17th and early 20th centuries. Rules PK is played with a 32-card deck normally referred to as a PK deck. The deck is composed of all of the 7s through to 10s, the face cards, and the aces in each suit, and can be created by removing all 2 to 6 values from a 52-card poker deck. Each game consists of a party of 6 deals. The player scoring the most points wins. Cut the player who cuts the higher card has to deal, and the dealer has the choice of cards at the commencement of each party. A party consists of 6 deals. The players deal alternately for each hand in the party. It is preferable to deal first so as not to deal the last hand. Dealing puts a player at a disadvantage. Deal 12 cards are dealt to each player, with the remaining 8 forming the talon, which is placed face down between the players. The talon may be split by the dealer into two piles of five and three cards, respectively. The dealer is referred to as the younger hand and the non-dealer as the elder hand. Carte blanche after the deal, players sort their cards in their hands. A player with no court cards may declare carte blanche, which is worth ten points. Carte blanche should be declared immediately. Either player declaring carte blanche must show their hand to the other. However, to preserve fairness, a formal protocol should be followed. Elder has carte blanche. Elder declares the number of cards that will be exchanged and sets them to the side. Younger chooses cards to be exchanged and sets them to the side. Elder displays entire hand, including cards set aside. Younger has carte blanche Younger displays after elder has exchanged cards. A hand of this type is fairly rare, appearing roughly once every 1800 hands. Although it often scores poorly, it is usually advantageous to declare it, despite the tactical disadvantage of giving information to the opponent. Note. No conflict may arise, as it is impossible for both players to hold carte blanche. Exchanging cards The goal of exchanging cards is to improve one's hand before the declaration and the play. The elder hand exchanges first. This is done by taking 1 to 5 cards from the hand and placing them face down. An equal number is then drawn from the talon. At least one card must be exchanged. The player must state how many cards she intends to exchange if fewer than the maximum. If the elder chooses to take fewer than the maximum, she may then look at the remainder from the five. The younger hand exchanges next. Again, at least one card must be exchanged. 
the younger may also exchange up to five cards, depending on how many the elder exchanged. If the elder exchange all five, then obviously the younger may only exchange up to three. Declaration phase In the declaration phase, the players ascertain who has the better hand in each of three categories. This is done in an oblique sort of way that leads to some of the intrigue of piquette. Elder hand declares first always, with younger responding. In each part of the declaration, the younger hand may choose to contest the elder's claim. By doing so, the younger may reveal information that would be useful during the trick-taking phase, called the play. Likewise, the elder may choose not to reveal information in one or more parts of the declaration. Point If the elder has at least four cards in a suit, she may make a declaration. For example, point of four. The younger would then respond indicating that he has more, fewer, or the same number of cards in a suit. This is done by saying, good, not good, or making, or how many, indicating that the younger has the same number of cards in a suit, which requires clarification. If both players have the same number of cards in a suit, then they must tally the value of the cards. The values of the cards are as follows. Ace equals 11, face cards equals 10, and face value for the rest. After adding the values of the cards, the elder calls out the number. The younger may then say, good, if the elder's value is greater, or, not good, and the number that wins the point. For example, not good, 39, or, not good, I have 39. If the values are the same, younger says, equal. The player with the better point scores the number of cards in the suit, not their value. If the values are the same, neither player scores. Note that Younger does not actually score for any declarations until Elder has led to the first trick in the play. Sequence The next part of the declaration is the sequence in which the longest consecutive run of cards is valued. A sequence must have at least three cards and they must all be in the same suit. Again, the Elder Hand starts. For example, run of three, or sequence of four. The younger then responds with good, or not good, in the same way as before, or by contesting. To contest, the younger says, how high, to which the elder responds with the highest card in the sequence. For example, to the queen, younger replies with, good, not good, or equal. In keeping with the game's ancestry, one may utilize the historical names for sequences in this part of the declaration, instead of the prosaic, run of three, for example. The following are the proper names and their associated values, those from six up are obsolete in English. The person winning the sequence may declare any additional sequences that he has, if desired. If both players' best sequences are equal then neither player may score for any sequences. Set A set is three or four of a kind, ten or greater. Sets of three are called trios or brelins and are worth three points, and sets of four quatorses are worth fourteen points. The declarations take place in the same manner as point and sequence, with Elder stating her best set, to which Younger replies, good or not good. The player with the best set may declare any additional sets that she has, if desired. Carte Rouge A variation is sometimes played in which 20 points are received if every card in a player's hand is used at some point while making up one or more good declarations. Carte blanche excluded. The points are scored at the time this occurs and are not subject to the order of point counting below. The following example should illustrate one way carte rouge may apply during a hand. Six cards were good in points, and the other six were good in sequences. The 20 points would then be awarded at that stage of the counting towards a repeak. PK and repeak if a player scores 30 points during the declaration phase prior to his opponent scoring anything, that player gains a repeak, which is worth an additional 60 points. If elder scores 30 points in declarations and play combined, before younger scores any points, then elder gains a PK and scores an additional 30 points. A player can only score either a peak or PK, not both. All declaration scoring must be evaluated in the following order, after the play of the first card by Elder. 
carte blanche, points, sequences, sets. If a player were to score more than 30 points in points and sequences before the other might score in sets, then the player would receive a repeak. For example, Elder has a Quartorza of aces for 14 points, Younger has a point of 7 and 2 quints for a total of 37 points. According to the order of scoring, above, Younger would receive the repeat bonus. Note that Younger can never gain a PK because Elder always scores one point for leading to the first trick. By the end of the declaration, each player will have a pretty good idea of the other's hand. Additionally, should Elder achieve cards more than six tricks prior to Younger winning any tricks, then the ten points for cards may immediately be applied to a PK. If Elder subsequently wins all the tricks, Elder only receives the remaining 30 of the 40 points awarded for Capote. The Capote does not count towards a PK. Equality has no effect on PK or a peak. Carte Rouge is applied as soon as it occurs, and is not subject to the ordering above. Play the play is the trick taking part of the game. Players must follow suit and there are no trumps. Play starts with the elder hand placing a card face up and scoring one point. The younger then scores for their declarations, and plays a card that follows suit, if possible. If not, he may discard anything he chooses. The winner of the trick takes the trick, placing it face down in front of her. The winner of the trick leads the next. When forced to discard, it is important to choose the right card. See Tactics. Score is usually kept verbally as play progresses. Trick score counts as follows. One point for leading a trick. If the second player wins a trick, she gets a point. The winner of the last trick wins a one-point bonus. Cards the player with the greater number of tricks won at the end of play scores 10 for cards. If there is a tie, then neither player scores the additional points. Capote if all 12 tricks are won by one player, that player scores 40 points for Capote. Scoring Rubicon Piquette, six hands are played regardless of final score. The winner's margin is computed as winner's score, loser's score plus 100. If, however, the loser fails to score at least 100 points, then the final score is computed as Winner's score plus loser's score plus 100, since the loser failed to cross the Rubicon. E.g., 105 to 101 equals 4 plus 100 equals 104 to the winner. 97 to 89 equals 97 plus 89 plus 100 equals 286 to the winner. Classic PK, also known as PKO cent. Played to 100 or 101 points, regardless of how many hands it takes to reach 100, usually 5 or 6. Uses a deck that includes the 6s of all 4 suits, and allows up to 7 cards to be exchanged by the elder hand. In this variation, it is possible for both hands to score carte blanche, since the 6 of each suit is available to be used in a sequence of 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, or in each player's hand, 2 suits each. Variations players may choose to keep tricks face up in front of them. Players may look through both players winning tricks. The winner of the last trick may score 10 points instead of 1, making the choice of how to close the play more significant. Declarations state the total card values for point each time it is declared, not just when dealer says, equal. Carte Rouge may award 10 or 40 points instead of 20, at the player's discretion. Tactics players discard low cards even if this means getting rid of four or more of one suit. This diminishes the chances of winning the point round, but this round is the lowest scoring one. Getting rid of these lower cards to get straights of five or more is very beneficial and will increase one's score greatly. Players may attempt to hold stop cards for the last stage of play in order to block their opponent's run of tricks with their long sequences. Background. In the gaming table, its votaries and victims, author Andrew Steinmetz describes how the game is played. The card game PK is said to have derived its name from that of its inventor, who contrived it to amuse Charles VI of France. 
The game was played with 32 cards, that is, discarding out of the pack all the deuces, trays, fours, fives, and sixes. Regular PK packs were sold. In reckoning up the points, every card counted for its value, as 10 for 10, 9 for 9, and so on down to 7, which was, of course, the lowest, but the ace reckoned for 11. All court cards reckoned for 10. As in other games, the ace won the king, the king the queen, and so on, to the knave, which won the 10. The cards were dealt at option by 4s, 3s, or 2s, to the number of 12, which was the hand, discarding, being allowed, but both the dealer and he that led were obliged to discard at least one card. When the cards were played out, each counted his tricks, and he that had most reckoned 10 for winning the cards. If the tricks were equal, neither reckoned at all. He who, without playing, could reckon up 30 in hand, when his antagonist reckoned nothing, scored 90 for them. This was called a repick, and all above 30 counted so many, 32 counting 92, and so on. He who could make up 30, part in hand and part by play, before the other made anything, scored 60. This was called the pick. The game was also played as pool precisely according to the rules briefly sketched as above. The penalty for losing being a guinea to the pool. PK required much practice to play it well. It became so great a favourite that, by the middle of the 18th century, the meanest people were well acquainted with it and let into all the tricks and secrets of it, in order to render them complete sharpers, such are the words of an old author, who adds that the game was liable to great imposition, and he explains the methods in use. Short cards were used for cutting, as in whist, at the time. Of these cards there were two sorts, one longer than the rest, and the advantage gained by them was as the adversary managed it by cutting the longer or broader, as best suited his purpose, or imposing on the dealer, when it was his turn, to cut those that made most against him. The aces, kings, queens, and knaves were marked with dots at the corners, and in the very old book from which I am quoting precise directions are given how this marking can be effected in such a manner as not to be discovered by your adversary and at the same time appear plain to yourself, with a fine-pointed pen and some clear spring water. Players made dots upon the glazed card at the corners according to the above method, or they colored the water with India ink, to make the marks more conspicuous. The work concludes as follows. There are but 32 cards made use of at Piquette, so that just half of them will be known to you, and in dealing you may have an opportunity to give yourself those you like best, and if you cannot, conveniently change the pack according to your desire, you will commonly know what you are to take in, which is a demonstrative advantage to win anyone's money. He also describes a signaling system used by cheaters. Card telegraphy. Although there are 32 cards in the game of PK, all of them may be designated by 12 different signs, namely, 8 for the nature of the cards, and 4 for the colors. The signals which he employs are only appreciable by his confederate, as follows. If he looks 1, at his confederate, he designates a king, 2, at the play of his adversary, a queen, 3, at the stake, a knave, four, at the opposite side, an ace, and whilst he indicates the nature of the cards he at the same time makes known the color by the following signs, one, the mouth slightly open, hearts, two, the mouth shut, diamonds, three, the upper lip slightly pouting over the lower, clubs, four, the lower lip drawn over the upper, spades, Thus, if the cheater wishes to announce, for instance, the knave and ace of hearts, he successively directs his looks upon the play of his adversary, upon the stake, and to the opposite side, whilst keeping his mouth slightly open. It is evident that this telegraphy may be employed at all games where there is a gallery. In effect, nothing is easier at piquet than to indicate, by the aid of these signals, the color in which the player should discard and that in which he should keep what cards he has.
These are the simplest signs, but some of the cheaters have a great number of them to designate everything, and even sometimes to communicate and receive intelligence when necessary. This telegraphy is so imperceptible that it is difficult to describe it, and altogether impossible to detect it. Bibliography Edmund Hoyle A Short Treatise on the Game of P.K. George and Alexander Ewing Dublin Edmund Hoyle Mr. Hoyle's Games of Whist, Quadrille, P.K., Chess and Backgammon, Thomas Osborne, London, Reuben Roy, The Noble and Interesting Game of P.K., Familiarly and Scientifically Treated, Henry Kent Causton, London, Barclay P.K. and Rubicon P.K., F.A., Stokes Go, New York. Foster, Robert Frederick Foster's Complete Hoyle, an encyclopedia of all the indoor games played, pp. 463-475, F.A., Stokes Go, New York, Cavendish The Laws of P.K. Adopted by the Portland and Turf Clubs, 9th ed., Thomas De La Rue & Co., London.